everybody and welcome to the Josie Life. First, I'd like to thank everybody for all of your likes and comments, especially your support that you showed us through this winter through our little shorts videos that we did with Josie, our new Australian Shepherd, other critters on the, on the homestead, and of course our instant peace videos. So we want to get into the meat and potatoes, and that is our garden. So there's our big, hu a huge compost pile that we had delivered. And we did not have quite enough of our own compost to do a garden of this size, but our goal is to do our own compost as well, exclusively. So this is our newest addition to the garden. This is gonna be a raised bed area. The one in the center that you see will actually be doubled for taller flowers, but this will be for medicinal flowers and for herbs. Everything that we are growing, even in our landscaping, we are trying to do at least 95% edible landscaping as well, even around our home. So there's the drawing. There's going to be two more on the ends and the gaps in between. Don't worry, those spaces will be filled with bags of potatoes. We're going to try that out and see how they grow in that and also other potted herbs. Now we're getting into the garden here. We do have some more rows we have to put in. And this year we're experimenting with putting the compost on top and planting directly into that compost. We've had a, heard a lot of good things about it, so this is kind of going to be our experiment with it, so we will definitely keep you posted on how well it's doing. Last year, this garden produced so much for us, we were completely astounded. Um, what you see, too, are the trees, and there it is, a food forest, as they call it now. It's um, apples, peaches, and also Italian plums. And the area that you see here is the new area as well. This will be for hanging pots that we will be doing squash, zucchini, and eggplant in. We saw so many people have luck with doing it in hanging pots that we're going to give it a try. So we'll let you know how that goes. And you're going to see soon where we're going to be having a sitting area there because it's so important for this garden to be a place that I find rest peace and also work because I am the kind of person that when I'm stressed, I need to be out. I need to be doing something physical. So this is perfect for me, perfect therapy, so to speak, because we're all so stressed these days. And then we have the plum trees. These are Italian plums. They're my pride and joy. I cannot wait to see how they do. They're supposed to be extremely hardy. They produce an ever-bearing, very large, sweet fruit. The one that you see there, this is going to actually be our sitting area and there's already a fire pit there. I'm gonna put a flower garden around that plum tree. And then we've already got a freestanding hammock, some glider chairs, and I also would like to get a glider bench to put there so we can come here with our friends, our family, and just relax. And back there, we have one of, uh, one of our arbors. That's for seedless grape. This is our other arbor. This is for your classic muscadine grape but we will be doubling them up and doing some more seedless and another seedless muscadine that is golden. Right here, you see those three trellises. Those are for several different types of cucumber. And I don't know if you saw the center of the garden, but there was um, a large iron rod there that you can hang like hummingbird feeders on. That's actually gonna be for my Japanese cucumber as well. Now the blocks, these are so important because we first got them to support the garden, then I got the idea, well, you know what, let's fill the holes with dirt and compost, put herbs and marigolds in them. They did fantastic, especially the dill and the basils really did amazing in that, and so did the um, oregano as well. So we're actually going to be putting, it also helps with the weeds encroaching into your garden. So we're gonna be doing about 60 to 70% of the garden will be framed out with them. Of course, leaving me plenty of spaces to get in and out so that I'm not having to you know, walk over um, the blocks or anything. And then of course, the sitting area will not be blocked in. Now we're gonna head out to our little pawpaw orchard. And first, let's take a deep breath. That is my most favorite entrance to the woods on our homestead. It just brings me peace every time I look down it. And right now we're heading into the pawpaw area. We have some small trees. We have uh, three different varieties, NC1, sunflower, and mango. And I don't know if you've ever heard of pawpaw, but they can have a custardy banana type flavor or like the mango variety and the sunflower can almost be like a mango-y, taste. So 
I've heard so much about these. The reason you don't see them on the shelves is because they have a very short um, shelf, shelf lifespan. So in other words, you want to them, pick them at the peak of ripeness and then eat them within a couple days of picking them. There's our lovely flock of chickens. They have been producing so well for us. They actually are all turning a year old this month. And our rooster is just amazing. We have Cochins, Bieldefelders, and we do have one speckled Sussex. And they are all producing really well for us as far as eggs. And uh, our biggest thing is to uh, project is to fence in the entire garden area. So they will be free grazed 95% of the year. And then the other part, they'll be up during the winter in that enclosure because they do hunt out here. And when they do, they hunt with dogs. So I definitely want to protect my flock. But I wanted to leave you with some pictures of a couple of weeks ago, our beautiful peach trees. And isn't it beautiful to see that little bee? sitting there already we've seen double the bees this year it's like every year we do it we see more and more beautiful pollinators coming the hummingbirds are already showing up like hello and uh you know they get kind of forceful you know they they want to know when you're going to be able to feed them so we are super excited about this garden and we hope that you'll take the journey with us and we're going to make some mistakes but hey that's part of life and um but we've made a lot of good choices and we can't wait to share them with all of you. Have a great day.